a well-placed meteor or two can basically destroy an entire singularity or Tesla setup. So a very quick crash course of how emitters and emitter gener field generators work is that containment field generators and their containment fields themselves are completely immune to any form of damage. So that means that even if a 5,000 meteors were to hit this, it would never explode. And that means the tile underneath it is completely safe as well. I can demonstrate this really quickly by spawning in something like a meteor launcher and shooting it. So as we can see, the tiles here are not safe, but the tiles under the actual physical field generators themselves are safe. So that means as long as the connections to the grid itself don't separate, this will remain strong. The lattice itself can separate from the grid and that can basically cut off a containment permanently. In order to protect this more, you could uh, place down plating, which to place down plating you just need steel or floor tiles, and to, and to further protect the floor, you should consider just actually placing down floor tiles. Um, you need to do this before turning on the emitters, but if I just show you really quick, uh, shooting this again, the floor tile itself will outlast everything else because the floor tile must be destroyed and then the plating must be destroyed and then finally the lattice can be destroyed. If you're doing a singularity setup, there is no reason you can't move the emitters as close as possible to the um, containment fields themselves. Actually, this is technically keeps it a little bit safer. And for redundant flooring, you should very heavily consider just floor tiling everything like this. You should heavily consider just floor tiling everything to give the ground better protection, um, especially on areas like uh, the like where wires go. Uh, it's just safer. You also, of course, need to run out medium voltage cables to wherever you end up placing these emitters. But bare minimum to get a full containment square, you'll need two emitters. So you don't need to be super crazy with your redundant wiring. But as a general uh, rule of thumb, the more redundant wiring you use, the safer your setup will be. You could put an emitter here, for example. You really, really need this redundant wiring if you're going to do this inside. So stations like Bagel actually have extra emitters and extra containment uh, field generators. But you can always get more through cargo. They are kind of expensive, so you need to, you're probably going to get them later in the shift. So the maximum range of field... Uh, so the maximum range that a containment field can actually jump is seven tiles. So this is the maximum range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here is the maximum range that we can have these containment fields. So at this point, you just turn on the emitters, the containment fields, and you only need to shoot the one in the center, and it will shoot out the beam as far as it can to each containment field and there we go we got some maximum length uh containment fields here and if a medium meteor hits it directly you can see the explosions get pretty damn close literally one pile away sometimes so what ended up happening was exactly what i said would happen if you're not careful with it it's separated from the grid, and obviously four meteors hitting the same exact place is not going to be realistic. So we're redoing this experiment with floor tiles instead of just uh, plating and lattice, and it's connected on literally every single tile that I possibly can. So if I just hit the containment field generator several times, we can already see that some of the plating is being removed, some of the floor tiles are being removed, but the floor tiles in general last a lot longer. Um, in a real round, if that many meteors hits that exact same spot, I don't know what to tell you. But this does protect the emitters quite a lot. Obviously, um, this got separated, the wires got destroyed, but if we just practice redundant wiring and safer wiring by making it closer, this wouldn't have happened. So, I'll just go up and down shooting the containment field in multiple places. And due to the fact of how this is set up, That is well beyond anything that is remotely possible in a normal round, and our power system is still set up and safe. But of course, you're going to have to go buy um, more containment fields to fully protect it, because you probably don't have to worry too much about the emitters down here, and obviously you should probably use redundant emitters as well. But using more containment fields up here, so like you do get one more, so you can just count it out of how far you want it to go, and then you can put an emitter here and shoot it. So this could actually help keep even more protection and 
This is modular, so just expand it to however much you want and can afford to. For example, though, on Bagel, this is pretty much the most coverage that you can actually get is right here without having to get extra stuff from cargo. But this does give you quite a lot of protection from meteors. Um, anyways, I hope this makes sense. Summary is keep your emitters as if you're doing, if you're doing this, this is only possible, this setup is only possible for the singularity, is keep your emitters as close as possible. Put containment field generators three tiles away, on the fourth tile away from the emitters. And finally, keep the medium voltage cable wiring as far away from space as possible. And that should be good enough. For Tesla setups, um, you're gonna have to just go build an emitter field out in space if you want to keep it actually fully safe. I think that's really the only option you have for Teslas. Anyways, thank you for watching.